Hi, I'm Jim with InStuffMusic.com, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Gretsch G6118T 135th Anniversary Edition. The Gretsch G6118T 135th Anniversary Edition is finished here in two-tone casino gold on dark cherry metallic. It features a maple neck with ebony fingerboard, a 24 and 6 tenths inch scale, 12 inch radius, and a standard U neck shape. The maple body features a Gretsch by Bigsby rocking bar bridge, Filtertron pickups, a three-way pickup selector switch, a master volume, and a separate volume for the neck and bridge, and a master tone control. The guitar comes with Godo locking tuners and also includes a hard shell case. You can get yours today at instuffmusic.com. Okay, now that we've covered the specs of the guitar, let's run through some sounds. Uh, at the top of the video, I had this deluxe here set on about three. Uh, treble and bass in the middle, healthy amount of reverb, and um, I was using a, a looper pedal there. So let's take that reverb down and just kind of hear everything at noon. Let's begin on the neck. Here's our neck sound. That's with all the controls wide open. Uh, let's hear the middle. Same thing. And the bridge. Now let me run through the controls if you're not familiar with how uh, the Gretsch works. It's a little different than your standard uh, two pickup guitar. Toggle switch, you still have neck, uh, both pickups, and bridge, of course. But we have a master volume here. No matter where I have the switch, That's going to control the volume. And down here is my tone for my neck, so here's the tone all the way off in the neck real fast. So 
add a little reverb back into that. So of course these filter Tron pickups are kind of a little bit of a different thing than uh, you know what you find in most guitars. They exist uh, to my ears somewhere in between like a P90 and a humbucker. They have kind of a top end bite. They're just really cool, and uh, you know you can use them for all different types of music. You know anything from you know you can get a great jazz sound out of them. That's just a little different than what uh, you're used to. You know, blues, rock, of course, these are known a lot as rockabilly guitars, but there's certainly a lot more to it than that. Uh, here's the middle. And then I can blend my two pickups um, with the volume controls. There's with the bridge out. Blend the bridge, or the, I'm sorry, the neck out. Blend the bridge, uh, the neck back in. And here's I'm blending the bridge in and out here. And I can engage my tone control. Just get a really wide array of sounds. So let's take it now, finally, the bridge, and just sweep through that a little bit. One of the great things about these guitars, which you don't find uh, in a lot of kind of vintage style guitars, is the, the pots on these guitars tend to be very even, and these pickups are kind of the, the taper is really nice. Some instruments, you know, you go from 10 to 8, and, you know, you're, it seems like you're almost uh, out of gas on the volume, but the, the sweep's pretty even on these from, from uh, you know, 10 down to 1. And the touch on the Bigsby is really nice. It's uh, it's not too stiff. You can float it. You can get a nice shim uh, shimmery sound on, the, on just chordal playing. You know, you can do things a little that are a little more extreme. It's pretty stable, uh, which is helped by the fact that this guitar has locking tuners. So let's hear uh, the guitar with a little, some drive. I just have kind of a mild overdrive sound set up right now, so let's start on the bridge. Here's the middle. Again, all the controls are wide open right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten the amp up a little bit here. We can really hear the bite 
on the guitar. Here's the neck. Back to the bridge. And then uh, just roll the volume back a little bit and we can hear all the guitar cleans up. And these guitars just have such great top end, they really sparkle. If I kind of get a chimey thing happen and give it even more verb. Okay, that was the Gretsch G6118T 135th anniversary.